This short video will introduce you to TMOs at Hackney. TMO stands for Tenant Management Organisation. A TMO is a means by which council residents can collectively take on responsibility for managing the homes they live in. Those resident members of the TMO create an independent legal body and usually elect a resident-led management committee to run the organisation. The TMO can then enter into a legal management agreement with Hackney Council. We then pay our TMOs an annual management and maintenance allowance to provide housing management functions on behalf of Hackney Council. The main regulatory framework covering TMOs is the right to manage. As you'd expect, there are safeguards built into the law. These ensure that tenant groups can only take on housing management functions if they have the support of the other residents in homes and that they can show that they have the skills and knowledge that will be needed to be successful. The government has published Right to Manage statutory guidance online, which has been improved to make creating TMOs quicker and less complex for both councils and tenants. The guidance offers example management agreements, advice on calculating allowances, as well as other useful information. There are two types of document that define the exact roles a TMO and the council take in managing the properties, the management agreement and the service level agreements. The management agreement, MMA, is the contract between the TMO and the council by which the local authority delegates management responsibility to the TMO. The agreement is in a pick-and-mix format, enabling different TMOs to select functions and responsibilities that suit them. Service-level agreements detail the quality, regularity, responsibilities for a service provided to the residents. These agreements are only occasionally used by Hackney Council and our TMOs. Key decisions at TMOs are made by the Board. The board consists of a chair who is responsible for the management of the TMO through the running of board meetings. There's also the vice chair who steps in for the chair when they're not available. Below the chair is a treasurer who's responsible for the finance side of the TMO and a secretary who must take minutes and ensure board members are aware of the time, place and agendas of the board meetings. Then you have the board members. These people help make the decisions and put forward ideas for improvement. The number of board members varies dramatically, depending on the size of the TMO. You also have a number of co-optees. These people are appointed to the TMO board to provide specialist expertise. If you're interested in becoming a co-optee for a TMO board, please contact the Hackney TMO team, or you can refer to the TMO section of the Hackney website. The TMO committee conducts an annual general meeting, commonly abbreviated as AGM, which is a meeting for all members and residents within the TMO estate. TMOs are required to notify their residents of the date of the meeting in advance, ensure enough people are present at the AGM, so decisions can be made. This is known as quorat. The number required is based on the membership size. Members and residents are required to vote on whether they want to remain a TMO at each AGM. We're proud that we have 10 TMOs running in Hackney. They account for around 20% of our housing stock. Altogether, they have an allowance of £5.3 million a year. They have over 100 board members, who are mainly residents who have volunteered. They also directly employ more than 60 people, such as housing officers, cleaners, handy persons and admin staff. Hackney TMOs have a great track record handling complaints and correspondence turnaround. When compared to other Hackney Council housing, our TMOs respond to complaints and turn around empty properties quicker. 
TMOs also have a 6.62 reduction in rent arrears. TMOs are responsible for providing services to the residents. However, this does not mean the council has no role to play. The council still provide the residents with services. The exact services we provide is outlined in the management agreement and any service level agreements. Hackney Council must also make sure that the TMO is complying with what is agreed in the management and service level agreements, as well as any rules and regulations. The interaction between Council, TMO and residents is managed by Hackney TMO team. Its goals are to undertake effective regulation and provide support to TMOs. Ensure excellent services for residents through compliance with the terms and conditions of TMO management agreements. Build a successful partnership between the Council and TMOs. The TMO service team has three main roles. The liaison officers, who are the main point of contact between TMOs and the Council. They report direct to the TMO regulations and performance manager who reports to the Head of Resident Participation, TMOs and Communities. That's the end of the video. If you'd like to learn more about Hackney's TMOs, there is further training available and information on our website.